Before we start, warning. Spoilers ahead. Today, I'm gonna explain a psychological thriller movie, called Pet. The movie starts with a man who works at an animal control department. His name is Seth. He is in charge of feeding the dogs because he really loves the animals there. On his way home, he develops an obsession with a woman, named Holly. He introduces himself while she is writing a journal. At first, Holly forgets about Seth who turns out to be her schoolmate in high school. The next day, Seth asks Nate, who works as a security guard at his office. He asks Nate for advice, and Nate tells him to be more confident and approach her. Shortly after, his boss informs him that the shelter's capacity is getting full due to the increasing number of abandoned animals. Therefore, one of the dogs has to be euthanized so that the cage can be used by other dogs. Sadly, he gives up one of his favorite dogs, to be killed. Seth extensively researches Holly's online profiles to find any information about her. The next day, he goes to the restaurant where Holly works as a waitress. He tries to ask her out, but she rebuffs him. After work, Seth tails Holly back to her house. Holly talks about the encounter earlier with her friend Claire. After a while, she takes a drunken phone call from her ex-boyfriend Eric, who cheated on her. Holly receives a large bouquet of roses at work the next day, assuming they are from Eric. At the same night, she goes to the bar where Eric works to thank him for the gift. Surprisingly, Eric says that he was not the one who sent the flowers. Holly, who was confused by Eric's words, decides to go out for a while. Seth, who has been following her all this time, suddenly asks her impression about the flowers. Hearing the answer from her, Seth denies the statement that Holly rejects his love, leading to a physical confrontation. Eric, who sees the incident, straight away beats Seth up. However, Seth is able to steal Holly's journal. He spends the next several days reading every detail in the journal. As his performance slips at work, Seth discovers a trapdoor to a basement in an abandoned room of the animal shelter, where he sets constructing a steel cage for several days ahead. Not only that, he takes some anesthetic and tries it to find out how effective it is. He sneaks back into Holly's house after he finishes preparing all his equipment. Eventually, Seth manages to kidnap Holly when she is about to go to sleep. He carries Holly's body into the basement that was found earlier using a cardboard. After Holly awakens in the cage, she tries to escape by removing the chains that lock the cage, until her nails fall off. Not long after, Seth comes to give her some food, nevertheless Holly still refuses to eat. Holly vows to survive, she talking to Claire all night. At some point, Seth informs her that he has heard Holly talking in both her own and Claire's voice in the past, indicating that Holly has personality disorders. He says that he loves her and has imprisoned her to save her. He also reveals that he knows the truth about her past from the journal. In a flashback, Holly discovered that Eric had slept with Claire, and confronted her about it during a car ride. An angry Holly continued accelerating the car until they were hit by a truck. Although injured, Claire was alive until Holly stabbed her with a glass shard right in the eye. Claire's death was attributed to the crash. Since then, Holly has committed a series of gruesome murders and written about them in her journal. When Seth realized the stories were real, he formulated a plan to save Holly to prevent her from hurting anyone else, claiming that he feels a purpose in his life at the end. Over the next several days, they engage in psychological mind games against each other as Holly begins to slip details to draw Seth in. Seth insists that Holly committed another murder due to her unrevealed guilt for Claire's death, but she counters that she kills simply because she enjoys it. He keeps thinking of other ways to save Holly, until one day, his boss threatens to fire him because his job is neglected. Nate, who becomes suspicious about Seth recently, follows him and accidentally discovers Holly in the basement. He wants to rescue Holly right away. The moment Seth returns to the basement, Holly deliberately distracts Nate so that Seth has time to deal with him. Reflexively, Seth hits Nate's head with a flashlight until he faints. Holly urges him to kill Nate using a cinder block because she doesn't want Seth to be caught by the police. She guides a terrified Seth to remove traces of Nate's death by dismembering Nate's body into pieces which will later be used as dog food, scattering his teeth in different places, and burning his bones at the cremation site. Few days later, the police become suspicious of Seth's role in Nate's disappearance. Seth succeeds to escape with the help of Holly's word in answering the detective's question. Day by day, Seth feels all of Holly's actions are proof that Holly sincerely loves him. Holly convinces him to prove his love by cutting off his finger. Desperately, Seth does it right in front of Holly, but this gives Holly an opportunity to take his knife and threatening to kill herself if Seth doesn't want to release her. Inevitably, Seth complies with her, and she says she finally believes that he loves her before slitting his throat. After the shocking incident, Holly is back together with Eric. She finds another evidence that Eric has been cheating again, however she declines to hurt him. Instead, she travels to a warehouse, 
where it turns out that Seth is being kept in a cage. He is still alive but horribly mutilated and tortured by Holly, she thanks him for saving her by allowing her to take out her murderous nature on him as a substitute, showing the literal meaning of love is blind.